These images look like photos that came straight from a phone camera, but they're not photos, they're AI-generated images created by a model that most people haven't tried. The model we're talking about is Higgsfield Soul, and it's really strong at producing these ultra-realistic images. Now, Higgsfield was kind enough to give me access to their platform to try it out, which is why I marked this video as a paid promotion. Higgsfield isn't paying me to make this video and has no idea what I'm going to say. Usually, I don't either. Higgsfield has a lot of tools for generating and working with images and videos. I think the foundation of it all is Higgsfield Soul, their image generation model. The words you see up here are presets. Higgsfield uses these in combination with your prompt to generate the image. If you want to get a feel for what the preset does, just click on one of them, like iPhone. You get a short description of the preset, and then you can see a bunch of images that use that preset and get an idea of how it works. Another way to go about it, just click on one of these images. You have the prompt over on the right, and then right above it will be the preset that was used to generate that image, in this case, sitting on the street. And if you want to see more images that use this preset, just click on it. And now we've got a gallery of images that use that preset and the short description of what the preset does. Some of these presets do very specific things, like escalator, for example, is always going to put your subject on an escalator. Others, like the iPhone preset or the realistic, they're more about the lighting and textures and whatnot, and not so much about putting your subject in a specific scene. There's way more presets here than we could cover in a single video, but I did want to show you how you can explore them. With that in mind, let's come up to the menu. Under Image, they have several models available. We're going to pick Higgsfield Soul. This is the image creation page where it shows all the images that I've generated. Down here in the bottom center is our prompt box. We can either type in a prompt or we can upload an image for it to draw the prompt from. I'm going to say a 30-year-old man sitting at a bus stop in New York. Below that, the settings we have are the model. We already selected Soul when we came in here, but we could change that by clicking and selecting a different model. We'll leave it on Higgsfield Soul. Next, choose an aspect ratio. We'll stick with 16 by 9, but you have all the other common options available there as well. For the quality, you can go with basic, which is faster, cheaper, and uses less credits, but we're going to stick with high quality. The next option is prompt enhance. We'll go ahead and turn that on, especially since we have a relatively short prompt here. Next, you can choose to use a consistent character. If you want to create a character on Higgs Field, they recommend uploading at least 20 photos of your character, and they give you some guidance here for best results. I'm not going to use a character, so we'll just move on to the preset. It's currently set at General. Click the Change button. Select whichever preset you want. You've got a search bar if you know the name, or you can sort these by category. The ones I think work well for most situations are Realistic, iPhone, and General, although I really do like CCTV, which makes it look like security camera footage. Let's choose Realistic for this one, and then we'll We'll click Generate. While that's running, let's go ahead and change up the preset, and we'll try it a few different ways. Let's try it for General. We'll click Generate with that. We'll click iPhone and Generate with that. And let's do one with CCTV and Generate with that. For each run, it's generating four variations. And here's our four sets of images for each with the different presets. For the bottom row here, we used Realistic. Let's just take a look at the first one. It's got a great angle, some realistic skin texture, no waxy, plasticky things going on. The lighting's pretty cool. I'm not sure what's going on here, if this is a bench or part sidewalk or trash cans built in. Don't know what that's all about. And one of these buildings in the background looks like it has things falling off of it and it's melting as he snapped the picture. But that'll happen with AI image generation. This one, the guy has a great facial expression and I don't see any major problems jumping out at me in the background. The next row up is where we use the general preset, and the general preset doesn't impart things like that camera angle we had with realistic. It's more of a general photorealistic style. The iPhone preset really leans into making it look like it was something snapped from a phone. A lot of times it'll come out looking like a selfie or taken from somebody sitting right next to the subject, as appears to be the case here. And it tends to angle the shots like in this image here, although I think that's a little bit too much of the guy's knee and jeans there, and I'm not sure it's quite accurate. And is that a boot? Is that his foot sticking up behind his knee? I hope not. Then we've got the CCTV preset. This takes the shot from the perspective of a security camera. Our guy apparently sees it and is looking at it, but I think a bigger problem for him is not the camera so much as whatever's going on with his hands. Another one of the CCTV variations, and of course the graininess and low quality are all part of this CCTV style. So I think that gives you an idea of what some of these styles do. Let's try something different. Let's go back to the explore page. I'm going to come down to Higgsfield Soul, say view all images, scroll down through here. Let's do something like this one. All right, so the preset 
preset is a 0.5 selfie, and we've got a big old long prompt here. We could recreate this exact image by coming down here and clicking recreate. It drops the prompt in the prompt box, and it sets the preset to the 0.5 selfie that was used to generate that image, and it set the aspect ratio to the same as what that image was. We can generate from that as it is, but I want to change things up a little bit. So I'm just going to copy this prompt. I'm going to come up here to assist, and assist is ChatGPT built right into Higgs field. So we'll come down here to the prompt box. I'm going to say revise this prompt, change the subject to a woman with brown hair wearing trendy casual clothing in Boston. Swap out the red phone booth with something else. I have no idea what else, but we'll let it figure it out. Paste in the original prompt, hit the go button. It gives us a revised prompt. We'll copy that. Back on our image generation page, we'll paste that in. All right, oh, it looks like it copied and pasted in some of this other junk, like certainly here's the revised prompt. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Leave just our prompt there. All our settings are good and we'll hit generate. And here's our four variations. I think they capture the vibe of the guy in the phone booth image that we borrowed the prompt from and worked on. We've just got a brown haired woman instead of a blonde haired guy in front of a Boston brownstone rather than a British phone booth. When you hover one of your generated images in Higgs field, you get this edit and animate menu. Under edit, you can upscale, you can do product placement, in paint, or use it for multi-reference. If we go over to in paint, we can in paint here by using the brush and then describing the change that we want, but you can also switch the model down here. Just click where it says sole in paint. You can switch that to nano banana and then just describe your edits. So we can say remove the light fixture from above the woman's head. And I'm trying to get rid of this thing right here. Click the go button and the light fixture is gone. Taking a look at some of the other images that I created with Higgsfield Soul. This one uses the 0.5 selfie preset. It's a good looking image overall. I'm not sure why she's carrying this antique phone in one hand while taking the selfie with obviously a newer phone, but aside from that, it looks pretty good. I really like this one of this woman and her dog with her tongue sticking out, but the dog's tongue sticking out, not the woman's. For this one, I use the general preset. Here's another one I really liked, this one using the CCTV preset. We've got the security cam footage capturing this guy walking through the store, drinking milk out of a carton with a straw. At least I assume that's milk, and we get the idea that this is probably the first non-alcoholic thing this guy drank all evening, and it's probably the wee hours of the morning by the looks of things. For this one, I use the real realistic preset. I'm not real sure what the point of this image is, but it totally looks like something that would be snapped with a phone camera. Speaking of phone camera snapshots, this one uses the iPhone preset. We've just got somebody laying there asleep while their laptop brightness is set way too high, but it provides good lighting and shadows for this shot. Now this guy's hand is not good. I didn't notice that before, but it does do this sometimes. I think the Higgsfield Soul model is really good at this ultra realistic style, particularly with faces and textures, but it seems like it hasn't quite caught up with some of the more modern models when it comes to the fidelity and getting things like hands and limbs and certain things in the background just right. For this one, I use that escalator preset, which puts your subject on an escalator. This woman that wants to know why we're taking her picture, I think that's the question that's on her face. This one used the 2000s cam preset, and aside from the gibberish text and maybe the height of that lamp, this sure looks like a real candid snapshot. For this guy sleeping in the airport, I used the general preset, and for the prompt, it was very simple. A weary traveler napping in an empty airport terminal chair. And I did not use prompt enhancement for this, otherwise we would see the full big detailed prompt here. Higgsfield also has an eating food preset. That's what I used for this image. And I think it came out really nice and very realistic. Now, of course, I didn't write all these big long prompts that you see. The way I got those prompts is either from the explore page. When I found an image I liked, I made note of what preset was used. I copied the prompt, took it over to ChatGPT, and told it to revise the prompt and gave it whatever changes I wanted to the subject or the scene. Or I gave it a really short prompt like we did with these bus stop guys. Remember the prompt I gave it was something simple like a 30 year old man sitting at a bus stop in New York, and then you can just leave prompt and hands on, and it'll fill in all these details before it generates. Now, these didn't all turn out great on the first shot. I was experimenting with the presets. I re-rolled some, and I just don't want you to think you type in a prompt, hit the go button, and everything's perfect. It usually doesn't work that way, at least not for me. Sometimes a re-roll does the trick, leave all the settings the same, and just hit the generate button again. Sometimes a little tweaking to the prompt, or in the case of Higgsfield, choosing a different preset makes all the difference. You can turn an image into a video right here on Higgsfield. Just come up to this 
Close Animate button, then click Video. Just like with their image generation, Higgsfield has presets you can use when generating a video. Come up here and click where it says Eyes In. That brings us into this page where we can preview. Let's see, we're on the Effects tab, so these are effects you can use with video. But they also have basic camera control, epic camera controls, some other effects over here, mix section that combines some of these things, or you can go over to the trending section and see what's popular right now in effects. Since there's a car in the background of that image, let's try a car explosion and see if it'll pick it up. I'm gonna leave the prompt the way it is. We'll stick with the Higgsfield light model. You do have some other model options here. And we'll say generate. While that's going, let's come back here to the model. Let's go with Kling 2.1 Master. Now that changed our car explosion preset up here to Pizza Fall. I'm guessing car explosion isn't available under Kling. We'll click change and go check that out. We've got the models they have available across the top and then tabs underneath them with the effects that are available. For this one, let's do giant grab. See how that turns out? I'm gonna leave the prompt blank and let it do what it does. Duration, we'll leave it five seconds. Can't change the resolution, that's okay. 1080p is fine and generate. Here's our car explosion version. Let's see what it did. Oh my, well that's an explosion. It's not the car, it's the food cart. And this lady just seems super happy with this. Maybe she was cold and she's warm now. The guy next to the food cart reacts oddly. It looks like a Snapchat dog face filter on him or something. And then it's like he's running to get away, but he's also holding on to the food cart at the same time. So that's different. All right, here's our giant grab video. The giant hand comes in, gives her a little pinch on the shoulder, oh, lets her loose. Oh, and the people in the background are... That guy's rough. He doesn't have a face and he's all twisted up. That's not good. So we just tried a couple of these fun effects with generating video, but you don't have to use those. We can come up here and click the change button, select general, and then just describe in the prompt box what you want to happen in the video, and then choose to have your prompt enhanced or not. And of course, there's lots of other models to choose from, including the Minimax Hilu O2, C-Dance, and VO3 and VO3 Fast. There's a whole lot more you can do in Higgsfield, and I just scratched the surface and wanted to show you the Higgsfield Soul image generation model and those ultra realistic images. Higgsfield pricing starts at $9 a month. That's uh, 150 credits. How much you create with those credits will depend on which models you choose. The pro plan at $29 a month or $17.40 a month if you pay annually gets you more credits and access to more models like VO3. And moving on up the line gets you more credits and access to more tools and more concurrent generations. Hey, my name is Bob. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you found this video helpful or at least entertaining. And I hope you'll come back and join me for another video.